my beloved friends from the great nation of Ashur. Shalom. Shlama Elochon Men Yerushalem, the holy city of the Jewish nation. Thank you for the special privilege of appearing in this special discussion. Thank you to my dear friends from AUA Australia, Rabbi Hermes Shaheen, Rabbi David David, and my lady, Susie David. The first significant event I held in Jerusalem last year was Shoah Tabach. At that time, I got to know the wonderful Assyrian nation. And so how similar it was to the Jewish nation. The state of Israel would not have been established in 1948 if many of its best sons had not paid with their lives for it. This sacrifice has continued throughout the Israeli wars and continues to this day. Every year we mark the Memorial Day for the IDF martyrs close to the Independence Day celebrations. Every celebration of ours and all of our joy is mourned with great sadness. For the soldiers who were killed for the security of the state of Israel. Yom Sahade is a very sad day. Dear people sacrificed their lives for the homeland of Ashur. They all heartedly believed that the act of sacrifice came to achieve a supreme goal. And that was to protect the Assyrian nation and ensure its continued existence for thousands of years. They died for us to live, for us to rejoice, and for us to fulfill what they were dreaming. They died for an ideal that we are must fulfill. They have fulfilled their part, and now it is our turn. We must show that we are fulfilling their will. We must justify every drop of bloodshed for the nation. If we could ask them now, what could have uh, made them most happy? Then without doubt, they would have said the establishment of the state of Ashur in the land of Ashur and the return of all the people of the nation from all lands to their homeland. Just as the prophet Ezekiel, who lived in the land of Ashur, prophesied for Israel, and I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and will bring them into their own land. In Jerusalem, there are two well known mountains the Temple Mount and the Mount of Herzl. On the Temple Mount stood two temples, one destroyed by the Babylonians and the other by the Romans. On the night of uh, months of Av, Tabach, the Jewish Tabach, as a matter of fact, today, we mark the memorial day of the destruction of the two temples. The Romans sought to erase our Jewish identity and therefore called the land of Israel Palestine, Palestine. 
ג'רוזלם, ירושלים, איליה קפיטולינה. So also did the enemies of the Assyrian people, who changed the name of the land and the names of the villages and cities. We will not let them succeed. Khaledala. Many of the soldiers who fought for the state of Israel are buried in the Mount of Herzog. This mountain is named after the visionary of the state, the modern prophet Herzl. There is also Yad Vashem, Ida Ushemma, Yad Vashem Institute, which is the large museum in the world for Holocaust treasures. All Jewish life moves between these two mountains, the destroyed uh, temple and the buried victims. However, from these ashes, a country has emerged that is one of the most advanced countries in the world. The term Yad Vashem Ida Ushemba comes from the prophecy of Ishaya, Isaiah. God is promising those that hold his covenant, I will give in my house and within my walls a monument and a memorial. I will give them an everlasting memorial that shall not be cut off. Those who fall for the nation of Ashur are forever registered with God and are the ones who will receive a place of honor in the Assyrian temple that will soon be built in the city of Nineveh, Khaledala. As I have said on many occasions, I intend to open the Assyrian Embassy in Jerusalem to reconnect the two nations that shaped the face of humanity. I pledge to work diligently to ensure that the State of Israel supports the Assyrian people, protects them, and helps them establish the independent state. Khaledala. I wish you all the best. Awitan Basime Raba Raba. Chaya Ashur. Chaya Israel.